We've been learning, uh, we've been loving a whole lot. And here to continue his American artist inspired DIYs, a guy we love, Ken Wingo. Hello, Yay! hello. Yeah, I've been very excited about this whole series. We've got lots of positive feedback on Facebook. Uh, you know, we did start off with Rothko, and then we uh, revisited um, Pollock, where we had a blast in the garage. That was so fun, too. And it looked great. Authentic, it looked fabulous. Yeah, we did a good job, I have to say. So we're getting a little bit more complicated. We're moving on time-wise, and we're going to talk about Andy Warhol. So Andy Warhol, um, he created what's called pop art. It was a sort of a whole new move starting in the 60s. Here's his Campbell soup can, which so a lot cool. of people know. He was sort of um, operating Mary he did Mao, a lot of celebrities. He was taking art, celebrity culture, and really commercialism and illustration. He was actually an illustrator first, and combining them all into art. He's responsible for a lot of things we don't even think about. Um, um, Interview Magazine, he started. That's right. 15 right. Minutes of Fame yeah, is that, what he, what he that's quoted. That came right. from. And he thought, they, thought the wonderful thing about today's culture in the 60s was that you have a Diet Coke can, or Coke can. The president's drinking a Coke can. Marilyn Monroe, Liz Taylor is drinking out of Coke can, and the bum on the street, that's what he said, is drinking a Coke can. No matter how much money you have, you are still drinking the exact same can of Coke. It's no better it. for anybody. So he loved that that popular message. Interesting. Um, his work's very expensive. I think uh, like one of his Elvises went for $82 million, right. this one here. Wow. Um, I think his most expensive piece has gone for about $111 million. So right. lots and lots of money, um, but we're going to show how to get that same look. For less. You're going to turn right. a whole lot gonna, less. A whole lot, whole lot. Turn <laughs> Debbie into art? Yes. Well, I think this would be great for, oh. for, for Debbie. You need to for, go watch Embrace, Mark. <laughs> for, um, for a kid's room, this could be great. For a kitchen, it could be great. Really inexpensive and very okay. fun. So let's get started. All you're going to need is basically an artist canvas. Right now, these are at sale. Eight for eight dollars, so a dollar piece. Total deal. What? Paint it your background color. Nice, bright color. is very, very Warhol. Let that dry. In the meantime, find your image. Go ahead and print your image out, and then Flip it. There's a button that'll give you a mirror image and print that out. You want to make sure you use a laser printer, not an inkjet. All right? So once you do that, what you're going to do is go through wow. and cut up your image. Debbie went under the knife here. I have really. <laughs> she did that, not that, see that it. Well. Surgeon, you, <laughs> you passed up the right. appointment. I actually went. So, so yeah. Debbie's hair, which she takes off every day after the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is not a big ten. Wow. Not a wig. Okay. And as you can see, I've traced around it. Then get cut out the eyes. You're going to trace around there. Take away the face, and then you want to do your lips. So I'm this is going to give you your different, you know, trace around that. And so you're going to get this outline. And then all you're going to do is get just regular craft paint. And you know, he went crazy with colors. So you can really just use whatever craft paint you have and use up all your old colors. Do you want it to be completely dense, or can you see some orange through you it? You can see some orange through it because his process was silk screening, um, uh -huh. so we're sort of cheating here. So you would see the underground color sure. beneath. And because it's sort of all off register, you don't really have to worry about being exact. Oh, but what you're going to do is paint all your different zones. But you're right? going to paint all the blocks the same color? They're not going to be different? You like oh, this. I see. So we did the face, Steps. we did the hair, the eyes, the mouth, and then we added, you know, he added like the eyeshadow yes. on Marilyn or the earrings. Like find a couple of like really Burn poppy Taylor, things and do really weird out. colors on sure. those. Now here's where it gets tricky. Once, let that dry and set. Now what you're gonna do, remember I told you to get a reverse image, that's the mirror image. Take your mirror image, so see how that lines up there? And what we're gonna do is just take good old decoupage medium, AKA Mod Podge, and all you're gonna do is brush that all over the whole thing. are you a DIY or a crafter at all? Um, I'd like to say yes, but I'm not really. That's okay. <laughs> That's you can say like yes. Oh, but that's, no one's going to fact that. check that. Yeah. That's why it says learn out front. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was elbowing um, Orly. like, look at her necklace. Look at her necklace. We got to make that necklace. Oh, yeah. I made this at home. No, I didn't. Did? <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally on board with that. <laughs> your next documentary. So, Finding the crafter within. Get your Mod Podge. Get a good thick layer on and then lay your image. Line it up. You trace it so it should match perfectly and just press it down and make sure you get all the air bubbles. Make sure you, you get enough so you can really feel it seeping through the paper. Get that nice and smooth. I'm sorry, did you say what kind of printer you use for You want to use a laser. A not laser. An, you want to okay. use a laser printer because the ink sits on top, top of the paper. And now. that's going to be key. It doesn't because go in. Because an inkjet, which is the all 
alternative to that right. sinks into that. Exactly. You Got want it. this sitting Got on top. So let that completely dry. Yeah. yeah. Take a look. I'll show you how it actually transfers. I did this earlier. Once this dried, all I did was I came back with a good old household sponge and a little bit of water and just wipe it down. Get it good and kind of soaping wet. You wait a little bit and let the water really soak in and you'll see it starts to fall apart. Oh my goodness. And then all you're gonna do Whoa. is just rub the, the paper, paper off, off with your so finger. So it sort of disintegrates, if you will. Right, exactly. You're not lifting the paper off. I thought it was a peel away. So all of that ink that was sitting on top has been, is attached to the painting uh -huh. now because of the Mod Podge. Yeah. So it and the really, water doesn't affect the, the water paint. doesn't affect the paint. The paint's all dry. So you get that wonderful lithograph silk screen process that he did, cool. but just through the print. Wow. So all so you're gonna cool. do, that and then you've got, you know, your final, the final image. Right there. And you know, so it's great. Do it with kids, do it, do it in multiple pieces. Um, and then really to, to finish it off, go over the whole thing once it's dry with a clear coat. You know, some of the crystal clear yeah. enamel spray paint. So any rough patches that aren't the same, it sort of seals it all, and then you end up with Did I see this. a version of this online? A lot of times I see stuff pop up and I'm not sure where I Well, saw you it. can actually go online. There are a couple of websites where you can send in a photo and they will digitalize it and send it. That but oh, right. but that it's cost it. about a hundred. 120 yeah. is about the cheapest yeah, one. That's I why can... I clicked past it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I knew I cool. saw this somewhere. The but fact you do it you yourself, and like an amazing gift. And seriously, like if you already have Mod Podge and already have your acrylic paints, it's a dollar for the canvas. If you have to go out and buy everything, you're talking five bucks.